Hello, I'm Antonio Velasboas, Junior Consumer Electronics Analyst for PC Mag, and I'm here with Motorola's second generation Moto X smartphone. The original Moto X wasn't quite the success Motorola hoped it would be, but the company paid close attention to issues many consumers had and made the relevant improvements on the second generation of the X. It now has a large 5.2 inch display which joins the full 1080p HD league, which we've come to expect from premium flagship phones. As a result, the new Moto X feels a little larger, but it's still very comfortable to hold, despite being slightly more of a thumb stretch. Motorola also gives you the choice to adorn the new X's back in premium materials, including the wood finishes and a new leather option from Revere Tannery, Horween. Wisely, Motorola stuck to a pure Android experience, which keeps the user interface clean and simple, without the superfluous bloatware and redundant apps other phone manufacturers add when they layer their own UI on top of Android. Yet, Motorola have added their own functionality flavors, including Moto Voice, Assist, Display, and Actions, which actually seem useful and work without much action on the user's part. It's 73 degrees and clear in New York. <laughs> The second generation of Moto X will become available later this month for $99 with a new two-year contract, or $499 unlocked. For more details and analysis, look out for our review coming soon.